Welcome back, Coney is here. Today I'm flying a new aircraft that I haven't recorded flying before. It's a Beechcraft Citation Longitude. We'll give this a try. It's a dual engine jet as opposed to a turboprop. I'm flying from Astoria, Oregon to Tillamook, Oregon. We'll be flying at a flight level of 4,000 feet. I'll set that once I get inside. Alright, I'll set that flight level now. I don't know if I can make this a little bit more visible. That beeping is due to the parking brake. Take that off. Let's go ahead and get started. Engine. I'm going to back off the throttle a bit, see if that goes away. Yeah, I did. And we'll bring the flaps up. Seattle Center KA501 is type Cessna C702 miles southeast of Kilo Alpha Sierra Tango 800 feet. Request flight following. KA501 Seattle Center. Squawk 5742. Beautiful shot. Squawk 5742 KA501. KA501 radar contact 3 miles southeast of Kilo Alpha Sierra Tango 1700 feet. Alpha okay, looks like we need to make a turn. Let's flight. go ahead and do that. Roger KA501. So far the flight seems okay. There was that moment where it said stall, but I think I pulled up pulled the nose up too early. I've been flying the King Air 350i for quite a long time. And so I felt like it was a time for a change. Okay, so we don't need to climb anymore. I'm already far past my intended altitude of 4,000. Go ahead and nose down. Still need to do a little bit of turning into the proper heading, so let's take care of that. These clouds are kind of fun. Okay, I see it's heading towards speed limit or red uh, red stripe bar on the t speed ticker tape so back off the throttle now at the 50% point see where that gets us once we're back at 4,000 feet okay now I'm trying to turn back into proper heading don't want to keep lifting up on the stick See if we can get our heading adjusted here. Going a little fast. I'm going to pull back on the throttle some more. Okay, so focusing on heading correction now. Still need to adjust our altitude back. Down. Heading's not adjusted just perfectly. I can let the autopilot take care of that. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Outside the plane, it seems a lot quieter than the other aircraft. Surprising for a jet. Let me grab the Xbox controller. It's 
beautiful airplane. Wow, that was really pretty. Very smooth aircraft. Let's go back inside and... Yeah, you can't really see much in here. It's a more advanced kind of Garmin system. I'm not sure what the model is. Maybe it's the 3000 or something, but there's a lot of Garmin stuff around. Like, I think this is communications and some other things. Here we can change our flight plan and whatnot. So I'll have to get used to all the different controls and everything. But so far it feels very comfortable to fly. I've landed it a couple of times and they weren't too bad. Better than the actual AI pilot was able to do. This was a planned turn, I guess, to go around a mountain or something. Can't really see much of what's below us. This might help a little bit. Okay, I think the airport's actually fairly close. We're, what, nine nautical miles away, so I better see if I can get the landing pattern to show up. Kilo Tango, Mike Kilo, traffic KA5018 miles northwest, 4,000 feet inbound to land runway tree one. And put the flaps down to try to get our speed down, followed by the landing gear, take our pilot. pilot off, and then drop the throttle all the way down. I think we can manage this. going a little bit on the fast side, but I think we can get that speed down. I'm going to bring the flaps down one more step. Okay, so now we're in the proper range to enter the landing pattern. Still have quite a bit of altitude here. Let's exaggerate this turn a little bit and try to burn some of that off.
It seemed really easy to slow this thing down compared to the 350i King Air. It just did not seem to be a problem to get it down to an appropriate speed. I watched the AI pilot land and he kept it around 160 in the pattern. I didn't get to see what speed he was going when it actually landed, but I believe it's supposed to be 115. Looking up some specs online. Yeah, this thing flies really smoothly. It just wants to do whatever I'm asking it to do. I think we're going too slow. Yep. So let's give it some throttle. We're in danger of stalling, not actually stalling. So I'll have to get used to the craft, but this is my third or fourth flight, and I think I like it. I think I might switch to it from now on. I need to be going a bit faster, though. Go up to 50% throttle. The aircraft has a really beautiful wing design. I love the curves. So I think everything looks good speed-wise, position-wise. A couple of more turns to make. Starting to gain some speed, so I'm going to pull the throttle back just a bit. Maybe nose up a bit as well. Put down the flaps all the way, trying to get our speed down some more. I think this is our last turn. Too slow? Okay, I'll give us some more throttle. We're not too slow for the final little bit here. I figured we'd want to be going about 135 according to what I read. Okay, let's see what that looks like out here. It 
looks fine. I'm going to begin backing the throttle down a bit. We want to be landing at 115. So let's try to use the descent to keep the speed reasonable. Try to keep the runway centered visually. to tell exactly where the runway is. I'm not used to the plane yet. But it does look like we ought to be able to just glide right in at this point. I'm going to flare up now. I think we're going to be just a little short. That's okay. So we landed a little short on the grass. That's fine seemed gentle overall. That's something I'll have to get used to. But I'd say that flight went pretty well. So let me pull over here. This, the plane feels a lot more in control, a lot easier to control than the King Air. Okay, I'm trying to get us moving. Go. It, I guess it thought the brakes were on or something. Alright, this is just another runway, so that's not exactly where we're supposed to get off. I don't know where I'm supposed to get off, so I'll pull over here. Just to get off the runway. If I look outside, maybe I can tell. Well, we'll just go ahead and contact the tower, or at least announce our presence. Kilo Alpha Sierra Tango traffic KA501 is clear of the runway. Okay, I want to see if I can figure out where I'm supposed to go. I see a bunch of stuff over there, so I'll just head forward and turn left. looks like the right place. Could probably do that a lot smoother with more practice. Controls are all very, very responsive on this craft. I forgot to put the flaps up, that's really important to do as soon as you land. A gust of wind can come along and pick you back up in the air if you don't. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and park here. Parking brake on. Look around a little bit. This is a beautiful area. I've been to Oregon. It does look this beautiful. It's an amazing place. The air, the cleanest air I've ever breathed in my life. Alright, well that is the inaugural flight for Conius Airline on the Citation Longitude. Let's go back inside. Shut the engines down. and turn the plane off. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.